Hey guys, in today's tutorial we are creating this cool D monogram logo you see right here using Affinity Designer version 2 and its new Shape Builder tool. And we are starting with a new clean document. And first of all, we need to create a square. So we go with the rectangle tool, holding down shift to get a square, perfect proportions. We can move it in the middle of our object so we can work better with it. We can go right here to color our swatches and make the filling um, transparent. We only need a stroke. We can keep it black or we can turn it black if you want to. And now we need to adjust the, um, the size of the stroke. I think something like 30 or 40 will do in this case. That's up to you. And what you like the most, we go with join Mitra and align stroke to inside. This is looking good, I think. Next step is creating a triangle. We first hold down shift to get this size and then we move it to the side so make it a lot wider we can then turn it around by holding down shift with 90 degrees so minus 90 and move it like this so we have the sharp um, side at the front of our d logo we can then select both of them and go layer expand stroke and that way we are turning our strokes into curves so if we now go with the node tool you see we have now um, um, nodes for the outside and for the inside because our whole stroke is now a curve we've done this also for our triangle right here next step is grabbing the pen tool this tool is needed for um, some um, cutting helping lines with for the shape builder tool we are using afterwards so we are creating one click right here one click right here and with the move tool moving to the side something like this we can in this case click no line style because we only need the curve we don't need it visible and we need one cut with the pen tool from here to here something like this it doesn't need to be um, precise because we can adjust it later on so we are going with no line style again right here zooming out now we need to select all of our parts, clicking right here to use the Shape Builder tool, which is new in Affinity Designer version 2. And that way we can then go with plus action, which means creating a new shape from selected areas and removing used areas from original objects. Or we can also use this one, create a new shape from selected areas. In this case, we're using this one now. And now we are, um, have track method freehand, we hold and move our cursor so we get this um, basic um, D shape like this one and then we can select all of the other objects and click backspace with our move tool to delete them. Now we can adjust our um, D even more we can click on it we can go with the no tool you can click right here hold down shift so we are moving a straight line this down and this more sharp something like this looks good then we need to create need to grab the pen tool again clicking right here and right here like we want the cut to be again we no don't need any line style you can go with the no tool now and click right here and click right here and click backspace to delete and then we can go with our line again we can flip it vertical right here move it down to this um, it's only snapping if snapping is activated if you want to copy my settings those are my settings we can now move it to the left something like this and add again one line from here to here and we don't need a line style again we can then go zoom out select all of them and go with the shape builder tool again and click right here with plus so we are deleting um, the selected areas and also um, creating a new shape and we then add this um, sharp corner right here which is looking cool I think can then um, delete this curve we don't need it anymore for now or we can keep it for later on but we can simply recreate it so we will delete it for now so it's a little bit more um, um, better to see we can then Go right here again color our swatches we can click on the filling we can make it transparent and again we are going with the stroke making it black stroke 
now it's important to go align stroke to inside again. We're going with meter join and making it bigger till we think it looks good. Something like 10 in this case, or a little bit higher, 14, 13, 12. I think this looks good. We then again need to go with layer and click expand stroke. So we are making a curve of our, our out of our stroke. It now looks like this. And if we go with the node tool, we see we have our stroke as a curve. We can then again go with the pen tool and we need this, um, this line again. So we're clicking right here and, and right here, making it bigger. If we've kept it from before, it's we can reuse it. Again, we are turning off our line style. So we have it precisely we can zoom in and we can move it something like this so we have it cut right here and not right here otherwise it would look a little bit strange because we would have this little edge right here so we are going with this one and we are duplicating with command and j control and j for windows users and now holding down shift and moving to the left one two three steps which means um 30 pixels to the left. We are checking if it's good. Two more, holding down shift again, one, two, and we have now 50 pixels. So five steps with shift and left arrow key to the left. We can now duplicate those two using command and J and moving somewhere at the top where we think it looks good, something like this. And again, we need to duplicate we now need to get those a nearly um, that way. This looks okay. So we only as helping lines to get um, the distance because it's now um, straight to the bottom. So we need those two again. Maybe get, give a little bit of a color. 0 0.2 PT and color um something like red or so so it's better visible zooming in using the pen tool again and creating from here of course selecting our um d monogram logo first going with the pen tool moving from here to here something like this and we can move it down and duplicate and moving to the left to get nearly this um, distance a little bit more I think zooming in holding down shift so we're moving in one line I think this looks good we can now delete the um, helping lines like this now we can select all of our objects again and again we're using the shape builder tool and in this case we're going with the action minus. So we are deleting selected areas from our objects. We want to delete this section and this section and also this section. And we're seeing we are not exactly um, right here. So we are um, too um, far to the left. So we need to adjust it, clicking again, moving a little bit to the left. We can also turn off the color so it's um, better visible like this. And now again, selecting shape builder tool and we can um, delete this section. We can now delete all of our other helping curves with the move tool and backspace. And next step is selecting our object again, going with the shape builder tool and making um, a new shape out of this one. Clicking, we now have this new shape and this basic shape. Um, where this shape was deleted from by using the minus action. And then we can choose a cool color if you want to for this one. Also add a background if you want to, maybe something white or nearly white. You can go with grace, something like this underneath. And we could also go right here, group this monogram logo and give it a little of bit of an outer shadow, something like this, if you wanted to stand out of the background. And then we are finished with this um, tutorial and with this D monogram logo creation. And that's gonna do for today's video. If you enjoyed watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully see you in the next video and bye.